Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this one, problem minimum number of operations to satisfy conditions. Problem four of today's contest is already live. You can just go and watch it. Again, if you want to don't waste your time, if you want to build the intuition, we will firstly see again if you have tried by yourself, you must be thinking why not we cannot apply greedy or why my thinking was that it will be greedy. But then how to even think of it's not a greedy? If you want to think of, okay, you can just watch this beginning portion if not then skip directly to 10 seconds sorry 10 minutes maybe around that eight minutes now it simply says that we have a grid matrix called as grid of m cross n where m rows and n columns usually i take it n cross m n rows and m columns i don't know why i have that mentality but i take n rows and m columns now what i have to do is that you need to perform some operations such that each cell each cell of the grid again you have a grid let's say you have a grid this is the grid you have you have to perform some operations on this grid such that each cell each cell satisfies the condition what's the condition condition is again i can change the value to any non-negative value and that's one operation on every operation i need to achieve this specific task first task is that equal to the cell below it which means that my cell at this my my cell which is at this location it should be equal to the cell below it which means at this location i can same way say for the below cell also that this cell should be equal to the below cell this cell should be equal to the below cell so technically all of them should be equal x x x x just like my x um all of them should be equal right okay Another condition is that it should be different from the cell to the right. Okay. This cell should be different from the cell to the right. So if again, I can vice versa say the same thing that it should be different from its left. So if I have a cell X, I cannot keep a X here. I can keep any other value other than X. I can keep a Y, Z, any other value other than X I can keep. Okay, and if I keep a Y here, for sure, it will also have to follow the same condition as Y, 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 Y. Again, let's say if I have for this cell, I can keep any other value other than the one at the left of me. What I have left of me, I have Y. So I cannot, I can keep any, any other value than Y. I can keep a X if I want. I can keep a Z if I want. And let's say if I keep a X, I can have a X, 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 X. I want, I can keep a Z also. Z, 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 Z and so on and so forth thus i have to perform i have to get this entire configuration done and the minimum number of operations needed will be my answer r and what's operation needed operation as in you will change some value to any other non-negative value that is one operation for example my technical target my meaning my maksat was that i will have to have all these values of this column same this column same this column same this should be not equal to my left one this should not be equal to my left one and i have to maintain it for all the columns and i realized it is already satisfying the condition so operation required are zero same way for this all these should be same all these should be same all these should be same but i realized oh bro all these are not same it is one zero so i have to change i have to change one of them either I, if i want i can change all of them i can put it at two two but technically you want minimum changes to be done so you will feel like okay i already have a one why should i change all of them i'll change only the ones which are not one so i'll change it to one now both have become one it is good first column is good next column next column needs to be changed rn again change it to one bro if i change it to one what will happen is it will become same as the left column i don't want that i want it to be different so i will have to change it to a zero okay change it done then for sure here again i will change it to one make sure because both of them will be same and also it will be not equal to the left column so you realize changes required will be one two and three three changes minimum number of changes or the operations done are three okay great last example i want to have all these as same i realize okay there's all these are actually already different so to make it same i will keep it as uh, either if i want it i could have moved to all fours but that's or sure not optimal like you are unnecessarily changing all of them maybe you can keep this one as it is and change to these ones thus you got all three equal 
operation required two. So you must have realized so far that R in what I technically can see is that uh, I can think it of that. Okay, if I have something of this sort, if I have something of this sort, then very very easily greedily greedy picture can come to your mind that R in I can easily realize that let's say if I had more of ones or more of zeros like whosoever would have been more let's say if zeros would have been more then i would have modified this one and similarly vice versa i would have modified here all the like modified here and it would have become a zero i would have modified all these zeros and would have made it a one so greedily you are going greedily whosoever is more that you are targeting okay whosoever is more take that that you are that you are trying to do but i'll ask you is this good so whenever you have to verify if your greedy code is correct or not you have to either get prove your greedy which is hard hardest part is to prove your greedy or other thing is that you prove your greedy will not work for some example then your greedy will not be applicable so i'll do the exact same stuff i thought of maybe i can apply greedy but then i have to verify if it's right or not verifying it right it's hard so i'll try to verify it to be wrong if i can prove it to be wrong I'm done. I cannot apply greedy. If not, I can apply greedy. And now, it is dependent upon you that how well you can build up your test cases so as to counter your greedy approach and build that itself. So, I build a very basic greedy approach. For example, in this case, by my greedy approach, I will modify, sorry, I will modify this 4 to a 2. I will modify this 4 to a 2. But as soon as I did that, I have to actually make sure that all these are different than that of 2. So I have to modify it to a any other value. Let's say I modified it to a 3. 3 and 3. Operations required are 4 here. Now, but if I would have not chosen greedy approach and I would have chosen, okay, I will just try, I will just try, okay, for, for this cell. For the first cell, I will try for all the possibilities of what can be there of what number can i choose here i'll say okay let's try to put four at the first location i will put four at the first location i'm not choosing greedily i choose four and thus you will see i got a four four and thus operation required two and of everything is sorted correct so are are you saying that i will try for all the possibilities i will say um bro like i'm just I just, I just thought of that okay what i will do i realize my greedy approach will not work considering i fixed on the first on the first um column itself on this column so i thought of okay i still can accommodate n into m i realize my constraint my constraint speaks louder and they are saying n into m for sure n and m matrix we have so n into m complexity will for sure be there the max and which is 1 is 6 my numbers which is every grid number can be a value of 10 right can be a value of 10 so for sure uh, on the first column maybe on the first column itself i can try for 10 possibilities i can try to keep for all the all the values on the first column itself so technically i am trying to say okay for the first column i'll try for all the 10 all the 10 possibilities and then onwards maybe i can go on greedily Maybe I can go on greedily. That is what I'm trying to say. By looking at the constraints, I'm I have reached to this point that maybe okay for the first column, let's try for all the possibilities, and then I will try to put it on all the columns greedily. But with this case itself, uh, on the first column you will try for the possibility, okay? Which means again I have taken this is just one row, and these have all the columns. So, with the first strategy, with this strategy which we have modified above so far, we are actually modifying all the columns in the first, first column. So, I'll try to put a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0 to 9, I'll try to put all the possibilities on the first column. Then, let's say, I placed in a 2 here itself. I will check. Is it same? No, it is not. I don't need to modify it. Okay, I'll go on next. Is it same? Yeah, it is same. If it is same, then I will have to modify it to something else. Now, it is tricky. What you will modify it to? What you will modify it? You cannot modify it to a 6. It's already 6. It's not true for you. So you have to modify it to some other value. What you should modify it to? That is an issue. So Rn, very obviously, I will check my right side. And if it is not on the right side itself, I will modify it. Okay, I will check on the right side. It is 9. I will check on the right side. It is 9. So if it is 9, 
I again, I have in the left part all the columns are actually two, all are six. On the right side, you never have touched the right side. So first doubt will be what you will choose to take on the right side. Okay, what will be the right side? Entire column will can be something else also. Maybe all are sevens. So maybe it can happen that this can end up becoming a seven and not a nine. So it's an issue again. What you will take? If you would have blindly taken, let's say nine itself, and that is you have taken. Okay, I will just stay away from nine. I will not keep nine. I will not take nine. Then let's say you would have all the numbers, and let's say you would have all the numbers. Let's say nine, 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 nine. You realized you cannot take a six. You cannot take a nine. So you will end up modifying all the nines. While in this case, if you had all the sevens, so it would have been much better. That you would have modified this nine to a seven and this six to a nine. Again, our greedy failed. So what's an issue now? So the issue is that for every j, I will have to try for all the possibilities by keeping on all the digits. Okay, for j, maybe I will try again. As in the beginning, I was trying. Okay, for the first column, I was trying for all the ten possibilities as the or as in all the ten digits zero to nine. Now I'm saying I will try for these possibilities for all the columns, for all the columns. So what will happen? For every column, you will try for ten options to place the digits, which will simply say, okay, for the first column, ten options. Next column, ten options. Next ten. Next ten. Next ten. How many columns? I have m columns. M is nothing but one thousand. So ten into ten, 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 ten is power m. 10 raised to 1000 will give me TLE. I will not. I cannot work on that. So I realized I was trying for all the possibilities. Which means I was trying for recursion. But then I realized my recursion will give me TLE. Then a hint. You can think of okay. Maybe I can apply DP. And usually we have seen that if we have uh, all the possibilities of let's say 10 like base value raised to our let's say m, we can achieve it to m into 10. As a time constraint, because I will take okay. I know that I have my all the possibilities as in the digits, digits, and I have my columns, which is M. I was going on to them, so I can take this as a DP state. Maybe I'm just thinking. Maybe I can take this, take this as a DP state and can solve this as my answer. Maybe I can try this. But Aryan, I don't know will the DP actually work for this or not. It's it's a it's a It's an issue, right? Like I, I I never know will it work or not. I'll show you. It will work. For example, let's say you remember how DP works is we always we always have seen the top down approach in which we start from the column at the extreme left and then I simply will keep on building the answer and the answer is built from the right side. That is how a top down works. You start from a zero column, then you just ask. I start I will start from zero and then you will keep on going. And then, while coming back, your answer is being built. So imagine that on the right side you have built your answer again. Remember, maksati bola. Your main aim was to get the minimum cost. Minimum cost. Now, uh, what I will do? I will simply go and I have a check. Okay, right side I have computed. I have got the minimum cost on the right side. Same way, right side. Now at this location, at the jth column, I am trying to place. Maybe I can place a three. I'll try for all the possible values. Zero to nine. Maybe I'm placing a three right here, or maybe I'm placing a four. So on the right side, what I have computed, which means on the right side, the configuration which I have done, placing all the two, six, and threes, two, six, and threes, what's the minimum cost? I can just store that cost, and I can get the minimum cost. I can return that minimum cost itself. So you can see it is repeating sub problems, which I can simply go and achieve. Okay, I realized it's a repeating sub repeating sub problem. I can simply apply my DP. Great. How will you apply a DP? Now you have realized that okay, main aim, just keep, just keep things in your mind. What is your aim? We know that we apply DP. That's one thing. We know that we have to go on to all the columns. That's an another thing. We know that we have to keep. We have to try for all the digits. We have to try for all the digits. But with a constraint. But with a constraint. Do not put digit which was seen earlier. Which was seen earlier. This is one constraint. Make sure to follow this constraint. Okay, I have this fact, and with this, with this fact, it seems like is okay. M is my one thousand. Digits is my roughly ten. 
so although it seems way too tech like way too good to like good to be true that my complexity can turn out to be just one ratio power four like one one e four is it we will see that but it seems like my dp state will all will only be requiring my j and my current digits which i can place which can be for sure have 10 options right and in technical i will say it if we have only only nine options because you cannot place the one which was just previously behind you okay now let's see how we'll do it first in the very main function i will have to try for all the possibilities and i will get the minimum answer which is the minimum cost then i realized i will have to call a solve function in which i will have to place a j and i will have to place the digits which i will keep at that jth at that jth column so let's name it as keep i will keep this digit this is a digit i'll keep this digit at the jth column so in the very beginning if you realize in the very beginning you have all the 10 possibilities because because in the very first column which is the column zero you have no behind right you have no behind so you can have all the 10 options to place at the first column so i realized i will go on and say okay for column is equals to zero column is less than m again make sure my columns are m and not n and column plus plus i'll simply say i have to minimize my answer so minimum answer is equals to minimum of minimum answer comma go and solve for starting from column zero and i can place all the digits let's say i will keep the digit zero then maybe keep the digit keep the digit oh rn you have to go on for try for all the digits so i will go and try for all the digits less than equal to nine less than equal to nine and then keep plus plus so i have to try for all the digits right on the first on the zeroth column try for all the digits and keep them okay i keep this digit and i will try for all the digits keep is saying all the digits 0 to 9 i will try to place and then get the minimum answer try to minimize my minimum answer itself which is the minimum cost okay let's solve the solve function let's write the solve function so okay solve function simply saying at the column j you have to keep it a simple recursion is broken down to three major steps one is the base case one is a simple uh, bacha case as in like uh, kid case which is simply having a check if you have computed your dp state or not and then your actual main case and then your re return case main case is this main case base case and your recursive state so what is your main case you are going on to all the columns so as soon as if if my j is greater than equal to m which means i have reached the end so simply return now the issue is return with a what value you know that you have to minimize you have to minimize your answer so technically when you have reached the super end which means okay you have gone on and computed your entire grid correctly so if you have reached the end simply return zero saying i have reached the end whatsoever computed so far is good it's correct so simply return a zero that is how we think of every step but it is m I don't have m at everywhere anywhere I, I, I don't have m either i can pass in in my solve function but i usually do one thing i compute it i will say int n is equals to grid of grid dot size and my m is equals to grid of zero dot size again make sure in an interview you ask the interviewer if i can have empty vector or not in that cases please make sure to correspondingly correct it but in our case we will have one value in the vector okay base case is done base case is done now simple uh, dp case simple if check your dp if your dp of j and keep if it is not equals to minus one return your dp and j dp of j and keep return that okay simple dp case also done right and again make sure to initialize your dp in the main function or maybe initialize globally sorry initialize yeah as in put globally and then initialize in the main function do that now comes the actual case so right now my main function told me that bro on the index on the column zero please make sure to keep all these values to try to keep all these values so i will make sure okay on the column zero i have to place keep i have to place all these values 
I have to place all these values and the and the digit name is keep. So and again I have to find the minimum answer. So I will firstly check what is the count. What is the count I should incur? Obviously the cost. What is the cost to keep at the first place? So I'll just name it as a cost. Cost initialize to zero. This cost is saying that bro, I am at the jth column. I am at the jth column. I have to make sure that all these values are actually equal to my keep. Keep, 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 keep. All these are equal to my keep. So technically, and you want minimum number of replacements. So I'll make, I, I'll say below if I want all these values to be keep. Now let's imagine my keep is 4. So I have to make sure all these values should be 4, right? Now if I ask you if some values already are 4 in this, then you will not change it, right? Yes. So whosoever is not equal to my keep, that I will change it. So I will simply say the cost to keep this keep element to keep this keep element on the jth index on the jth column. I will say I will iterate on all the rows int row is equals to zero row is less than n and then row plus plus right. If my grid of that specific row the column will for sure be j for sure be j if it is not equals to my keep the digit which I should keep at this location then I will increase the cost because I have to replace that non keep number to any to keep number. Okay, cost I've computed. Okay, this but this is a cost to keep to keep the number keep. I should rather not use this number keep itself. Let's take a digits that to keep the number digit at the digit location that will also be okay. Let's keep it keep. So you have to just put this keep number on this column J. Now, when the cost is computed for this, go on to the next column, which is j plus 1. So, I'll go on to the next column, which is j plus 1. So, simply go on to j plus 1. But on j plus 1 also, you will have, again, you have to simply go and ask, bro, do a solve. Go and try for j plus 1 column. But then, you will also have to give a keep. What is the value you, you want me to keep at this index j plus 1? So, what should I give? I realized... At the current location, I have kept a keep. At the jth column, I have kept a keep. So on the next column, I can keep any other value other than keep. I can keep any other value other than keep. Right. So I will just simply iterate on all the possible digits. I will simply say for digits starting from 0 to digits less than or equal to 9 and then digits plus plus go on to try on again if your digit is not equals to your keep right if your digit if this digit sorry this digit is not equal to this specific key which you have placed at the jth index then what you can try is go and solve go and solve for j plus one with this digit with this digit great but for sure you have to add the cost so whatever cost you have got so far again this cost yeah cost plus plus the cost you've got so far this is the cost which i will keep on adding because it is the entire which i'm trying to build and make sure that you have to minimize the total answer so i'll minimize the total answer i will say int minimum answer initialize to int max and i'll say my minimum answer is nothing but minimum of minimum answer comma this value which is cost plus solving for next function then ultimately return my dp says return of dp of j j comma keep as in j keep and then this is the minimum answer and that's how simply you can solve your dp right that's how you build simply fill in the blanks as simple as that let's see the code it's pretty simple exact same code uh, i have my nnm if j is more than or equal to m, return 0. Base case, j keep not equal to minus 1. Simply keep it. Then minimum answer, int max. Cost, current cost, 0. I know that at the jth column, I have to keep all these keep values. So I'll go on to all the rows of the jth column. Again, I am going on to all the rows of the jth column. And then all the rows, all the rows of the jth column. If it is not equal to my keep, then I add that in my cost as a 1. Okay, if if I have I've got the cost, 
then I will go and try for all the digits except keep on the next index column. So I try for all the options other than keep on the next column j plus 1 right and add the simple cost here minimize your answer and simply return your answer right your main case uh, minimum answer initialize to intermax you initialize your dp with the value of minus 1 make sure that you have the digits only 10 you have your columns only m which is 1000 and you went on and in the very beginning for column 0 you have all the keep values like you have all the possible options to try on so you'll try for all the possible options of digits. Okay, try that and get the minimum answer and return the minimum answer. That's how you realized your DP state, your DP state itself is M into 10. M into 10. But on every state, you are going on to all the rows, which is N. So complexity is N into M into 10. And same way, the space, you can see, it is nothing but DP space, which is M into 10. Does the DP space is M into 10. That's how I can simply say, okay, it is N into M also, and this is O of M also. That's how it goes. I can remove the constants. And that is how I can simply solve it. Cool. If you liked it, uh, please smash the like button. It helps a lot. Helps a lot. Again, helps a lot channel. Because the growth is done. It's, it's, it has gone. Only by your love, it can come up. So yeah, please give it up. Bye-bye. Take care.